Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to talk about some faucets, tub and shower faucets that you're really having a hard time trying to figure out what part it takes. Some of the names like Glacier Bay, Aquasource, uh, Pegasus, Jacuzzi, some of those faucets that's really hard to find parts for and you're really not sure what's in it. And uh, we're going to go through a lot of those cartridges and break down a couple of those faucets here today to show you what's inside of them. So check out the video coming up next. Alright, so you ever uh, have a faucet that you really got an awkward drip or uh, you're having a hard time really trying to figure out what this thing takes? and it doesn't have a name on it and you're, you're really not sure what it is but you think it might be a Delta or a Kohler um, and that's because those are the top two manufacturers really in the world so um, a lot of the faucets now are going to private label label branding and what I mean by that is you hear things like Glacier Bay Glacier Bay is a Home Depot exclusive you won't find Glacier Bay anywhere else. Aquasource, like this faucet here. Okay, this is an Aqua Aquasource Gardener faucet. And in just a second, we're going to break this open and see what's inside of it. Um, Premier faucets, uh, Project Source, uh, and there's tons more. Um, you know, every hardware store, uh, Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's. True Value, um, all these places kind of have their own private label brand, and but someone else makes it for them. Okay, it's kind of like um, a, when Sears was the number one appliance sales company with Kenmore. Well, Sears didn't make appliances; someone made it for them, and they put the Kenmore name on it. Same principle. So, this first faucet we're going to open up. I'm going to show you what's inside and what you might get when you buy an Aquasource faucet. Um, it's got all the paperwork and everything, but that's really not what we're interested in. Um, we're going to open up <coughs> this, this faucet. And they make some really nice looking products. When you look at it on the wall in a hardware store, I mean, it's a, it's a heavy duty product. You know, it's a nice looking brush nickel, um, but guess what? There's no names on the, the plates. That's because a, a manufacturer make the, makes these and they put it in different boxes and ship them out to different hardware stores and different vendors, okay? So this is the valve body. This is really what we're interested in looking at uh, for this Aquasource faucet. If you pull this uh, cover plate off, let's see. Got a screw in it, hold it in place. Okay. This is what you see. Okay. Um, got your hot and your cold lines coming in. One of the advantages that I do see with most private label uh, companies like uh, Aquasource, Glacier Bay, Donzi, or Dan's, as some people call them, uh, they do have integral stops. And if you don't know what the integral stops are, is if you look here on either side of the faucet or the control, there's a slot, okay, where you can put a screwdriver in here, cut the water off. So if you've got an issue where this faucet is just really dripping, really causing a high water bill, you can isolate this instead of shutting off the uh, water to the whole house. So that, that's a huge issue there. Um, so we're gonna take this, this off, and when you look at this up front, you see a brass spline here, okay? Uh, but that's really not part of the cartridge, that's an extension. And that what that does, that helps it get through the wall. Sometimes if you have a tile wall, um, it, it takes a little bit of extra depth to get through that tile. We're gonna take this nut off here, see what's inside of this thing. Loosen that up, it's a little tight from the factory. Okay, after we take this nut off here, we're going to see the cartridge. Okay, uh, I'm also going to take this extension off so you can kind of get an idea of what the cartridge actually looks like. That's the extension that I was telling you about. 
It's got a little water in it where they tested it. Now, it's got that large plastic gear spline. That's the cartridge, and what this does, this is gonna be in your wall. You're just gonna wiggle a little bit and pull it out, okay? There's the back side of it. It's got these pins here. So that's what that cartridge looks like. And believe it or not, this is one of the most common ones out there right now. If you hear it, that noise, that's a piston that rides back and forth inside this faucet. Um, and that's the pressure balance version of this. So you've got hot water coming in, cold water coming in on either side, and someone flushes a toilet or someone does laundry in the other part of the house, it's not gonna rob cold water or hot water from either side, not gonna scald you. And that thing floats back and forth to give you that equal pressure so it won't burn you, okay? So that's what's inside this particular Aquasource faucet. Not every Aquasource faucet has this cartridge. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to kind of show you something about that on the next couple faucets. Uh, this also fits many, many Glacier Bay faucets. Keep that in mind. So when someone sends me an email, which is info at plumbingparkspro.com, I'll put that right down here. You can send me a picture of your faucet um, and, and help me. Uh, I'll help you identify what you have in here but one of the problems is you can't just take a picture of the faucet when it comes to private label faucets or Glacier Bay or, or Aquasource and some of those the, um, because you really don't know what's inside of it. There's, there's not a GlacierBay.com or Aquasource.com uh, there's not an actual company uh, that specializes in that, like Delta. You know, if you show me a Delta faucet, I know what's inside of it. Uh, and I can uh, link that uh, video up here for my Delta faucets. If you, if you know you have a Delta faucet, click up here and you can watch that one. Um, but on to the next one, okay? This is a faucet made by Premier Company, which is also a private label brand. Okay. Pull this out, pull this cover off. Okay, first glance, but without taking the nut off, look at the end of it. It's got a hex end to it. Remember this one had a brass spline groove to the end. Okay, it also does have those integral stops so you can cut it off and isolate it. But watch this. We're going to take this cover off. Unscrew the nut. Take the extension off. And look what we've got. The exact same cartridge as what was in this Aquasource faucet. Okay? Two different brands, two different companies, same part. Pull that out. This one's tight. There we go. It's got those two studs on the end, the blue washers. It's the same cartridge in these two faucets. So essentially this came out of the same factory and they put, put it in two different boxes, kind of like I mentioned before. Okay. Now watch this. This is one we've pulled out. Premier faucet. Same brand as this. Okay. By looking at it, it's got the stops here, like I mentioned, to isolate it. This one's got a square into it. Doesn't have the hex, and it doesn't have the spline here. Let's see what we got in this one. Totally different cartridge. Okay. Same brand, two totally different cartridges. That's why you can't just say, hey, I need a Glacier Bay cartridge, or I need an Aquasource cartridge. You need to see this, okay? 
Make sure you stay tuned. I'll tell you what, I've got 14 more cartridges sitting here in front of me I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you some even uh, closer comparison why it's uh, very important to show the whole cartridge. Okay, so what I'm going to do is instead of giving you a part number for the particular cartridge, because every part number could be different, a Glacier Bay part number is going to be different from an Aquasource part number, and it could be the exact same thing, just the different company's part number, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go through these, and I'm going to label them one, two, three, four, five, and so on, okay? And I'm going to put a link in the description for each cartridge, so when you see the one that you have, you can click on that link and it'll take you directly to that cartridge. Okay? Now this one here, if you look at the bag, I don't know if you can see that, it's labeled import. There's not even a brand on this. It's labeled import. Okay? This cartridge has a square end. Okay. It's got two studs on the bottom, but they're on top of each other, not side to side like a lot of your other ones are. And it's got this D-shaped, backwards D-shaped grooves and washers. Okay? That's gonna be cartridge number one. Oh, and the and cartridge number one, I want to measure that. That's approximately with the studs coming out of the bottom about four and three eighths long. The diameter, 40 millimeters. That's a real common diameter for these cartridges. Okay, cartridge number one. All right, cartridge number two. This is a really common cartridge. Um, this one's actually, uh, comes in a lot of uh, faucets by what they call Dan's or Donzi and uh, also Gerber. I'll show you that one here. Okay, This is very similar to the one that came out of that uh, Premier faucet. Remember I just showed you? But it was much longer and it had a square end to it. Okay? The bottom side, if you look at it, has uh, two backwards D's on the bottom, black gaskets and this plaque piece protrudes out. Okay, This is also a pressure balance cartridge. Uh, O-ring here, and it's got the red and blue stops, but it does have a grooved spline for the handle adapter. Okay, This is also a 40 millimeter diameter cartridge. Overall length, about three and a half inches overall length. And that's uh, Donzi Gerber uh, cartridge number two. They make four more of these that all look similar. So make sure you pay attention. Cartridge number three is part of the same family. But this is just the top section, okay? So this one's got a stainless steel plate on the bottom that takes seat and springs, very similar to a Delta, uh, where it has those cup and springs that go in the back. You notice it's got the, the red and blue stops. This one has a square handle, okay, or spline. And look at the similarities, okay. This is actually the internal part of this faucet. This one actually separates. And if you line them up like that, this is what's inside of this. However, the ends are different, okay. Cartridge number three, we know that's. 40 millimeters in diameter because it's the same as that one. But the length of it, two and one eighth inches. Okay? That's cartridge number three. It does come with the seat and springs in the package. Cartridge number four. Okay? Now, this is what we pulled out of that Premier faucet that import faucet, okay? And if you see the similarities of what I'm going through, 
okay? Very similar, but this one's got a long square stem on it, okay? The bottom is the same. It's part of that Dan's and uh, Gerber family, okay? Forty millimeters in diameter. Overall length five inches, right? At approximately five inches. Might be four and fifteen sixteenths. Yeah, it's about four and fifteen sixteenths, just a tad under five inches. Okay. Cartridge number five, still part of that same family. Now look at this one. Looks like the same cartridge, but it's not. Okay. Cartridge number four, cartridge number five. It's longer. If you notice from here up, my fingers up, it's the same cartridge. Everything's the same. The difference is at the bottom. Okay. So when I get a lot of people send me, they take the handle off and send me a picture. For example, they send me that picture, okay, without removing the cartridge. I don't know which one of these it is. Because when you see that much of it, you don't know it's on the back side. Now, if you look at the back side of this, you know, this one we showed had those two backwards Ds. This one actually has two round circles, little check valves built inside this cartridge. And see the difference in length? Quite a bit of difference in length. And remember that one was uh, four and uh, 15, 16, it's almost five inches. This one is five and seven sixteenths. Okay, that's cartridge number five. Still part of the same family, Gerber, Dan's, Aquasource, Glacier Bay. Cartridge number six. Virtually the same cartridge, just black, okay? However, there is a slight, slight difference. Okay, and honestly, I feel like they'll interchange. It's that close of a difference. Really, the only difference I can see between these cartridges, um, they got the same length. The bottom is the same. Okay. If you compare the O-ring on the outer edge here, this one sits about a quarter inch lower on the body. See it around this finger? On this one, it sits about a quarter inch higher. Number cartridge five and cartridge six. However, they're both square stems. They've got the same stops. Um, the bottom is virtually the same. Okay, there are two different part numbers. I'm gonna list them both for you. Um, still part of that same family. Aquasource, Gerber, Donzi. That's cartridge number six. We got one more in that family. Cartridge number seven. Very similar. Okay. Um, and if you notice this one, you know it's square halfway up and then they put those grooves on it at the end okay pressure balanced this one's got a shrink wrap on it so it looks a little shiny the lights might be shiny on it the bottom of them the holes are larger than these see the difference in the size of the holes 
and it doesn't have, it's more flat, okay, than this one. This one has a little hump in it here, as where this one does not. The pins, where it meets the valve body, these are wider than these two, okay? And also this one's a little bit longer. Diameter on this one, and this one's a 45 millimeter at the base. And the top, it's a 40 millimeter. So it's it's kind of tapered. So 45 millimeters here, and it tapers down to 40 millimeters through here. Okay. Length overall, five and five eighths. And that's cartridge number seven. That's the last one, I believe, in that family of the Aquasource Glacier Bay. Um, Dan's Gerber. This next cartridge, which is number eight, this is that common cartridge I was telling you about that was in two different faucets. It was in the Aquasource uh, as well as the Premier faucet. And that's this one here. Okay, very common, very popular faucet, our cartridge. And that is, um, uh, fits a lot of the Glacier Bay faucets. It's got that large groove. Uh, now, when you first take the handle off, you probably won't see that. Okay, because they typically have an extension on it. Okay, it'll have a nut holding it in place. So a lot of times, like I said, all you're going to see is the end of this adapter. Okay, which is also all depends on what handle they put on it. Maybe this adapter. Same cartridge. Okay, that's cartridge number eight. Uh. 40 millimeters in diameter. About three and three sixteenths diameter there, or uh, length. Okay, it's got the two studs, or the pins coming out here where it fits in the valve body. Uh, the blue washers on the back side. Cartridge number eight, very popular cartridge. That was the stop. It sits in that groove that fell off. All right. Cartridge number nine. And if you haven't seen your cartridge yet, stay tuned. I've got uh, five or six more uh, of the most common ones. And uh, if you don't see it at the end, send me an email. Send a picture of it, send a picture of what you have, and most likely I can identify it. Um, and I may even have it. There's a couple other ones that I have here um, that I don't have on camera. Um, but this one here, it's also in some Glacier Bay faucets. This one here, it's, it's got a, um, so this one's got grooves or uh, splines on the end of it, but it's also got two flat sides. Okay, some of the Gerbers have that. It's got this little knurled or grooved plastic stop. Uh, here's a picture of the bottom. You see that right there? Got the pins, the gaskets, Glacier Bay. 40 millimeter diameter. Three and three eighths length. Okay, that's cartridge number nine. All right, cartridge number ten. This fits a lot of Gerber faucets. Okay. This one has the same uh, spline that this last one did to fit the Gla Glacier Bay. You know, it's grooved on two sides, and then it's got two flat sides on it, okay? Most of the time it's green. Um, sometimes you'll see it with a silver uh, cap here. The little red cap, you'll see it with a silver cap. Here's the bottom of it. Shows the gaskets. Got two little pins here. Forty millimeter diameter. Like I said, a lot of them are forty millimeter. The length on this one, two and five eighths. That's cartridge number ten. Cartridge number eleven. Okay, this one here. Let's see. This one also is listed as import. I don't know if you can see that.
But if you look at the similarities between these two, okay? So this is like the upper version of this, okay? Remember I told you sometimes you'll see it with a silver cap? And this cap just pulls right off. You know, they'll interchange, okay? Um, so don't go by the color, really, on the color of the cap. Uh, they both have the splined and two flat sides for the handle. Got the stops on it. This one just has a longer bottom, a longer bottom section. Show you the, the gaskets and the pins there. There's a closer view of the other one if you didn't get to see it. Okay, this is number 10, cartridge number 11. Okay. 40 millimeter cartridge diameter, overall length of number 11. Three and a half inches. Okay. Got a few more left. Cartridge number 12 is listed as a CFG, or Cleveland Faucet Group. It's a pretty common faucet as well. Um, oops. Runaway cartridge. Okay. Okay, this one actually has threaded splines here, but it's got a square adapter that mounts over it, okay? It's a picture of the grooves. Now, if you remember cartridge number one, bring that back out here, which was listed as import. Look at the similarities. You know, a lot of these companies make the same faucets, the same cartridges. The bottom's the same. They just made it a little bit longer with a square. This was cartridge number one. This is cartridge number 12, okay? Uh, made by Cleveland Faucet Group, CFG. going to be 40 millimeters in diameter. Overall length, three and one eighth is the length of this one. Okay. Now this is the generic CFG or Cleveland Fawcett Group. The next one is an OEM Cleveland Fawcett Group, which really confused me at first because I thought I stopped carrying one of them and not the other, I stopped caring, but I realized there's a difference. And they're hard to tell between the differences of these, and I'm gonna show you why. Cartridge number 13, remember I was telling you how it has a spline on this one, okay? What come, this one comes with a plastic adapter that goes on top of it, like that, to make it look like this one, okay? Same height. Cartridge number 13 is the OEM version. However, this does not fit this faucet. And the reason I know that is look at the bottom. This one has a pin here and a pin here. This one only has one pin. See that? Very similar. Turn them sideways and you can see these pins I'm talking about. And essentially it's they're even listed as the same brand. Part number is almost the same. Um, the imports have a part number that's similar because it's a copy, uh, but it's not the same cartridge. This is actually the OEM Cleveland Fawcett Group cartridge. This one, it's a 40069, which is by Cleveland Fawcett Group. Forty millimeters. Should be the same three and one eighth of an inch. Same as the, the number 12, the 13. It's just that little bit of difference on the bottom. And, and that's why we need to see the cartridge out of the faucet when it comes to an import faucet or a, a house brand faucet, okay? Uh, one more cartridge. I'll show you that one real quick. 
cartridge number 14. This is made by a company called Huntington Brass. I've had a lot of people email me about this one. They couldn't figure out what it was. And uh, I sent them a few of these. They were super, super excited. Because it's, it's fairly difficult to find. Okay, this one's actually a two-piece cartridge. Okay, now it fits together. Sometimes you'll see it listed like this. Okay, sometimes you'll see the picture as two pieces. Okay, you might pull yours out of your faucet and just pull the front section out and you're looking for this. The washer's coming off. Okay, but um, this has got two flat sides, two rounded sides. And I dropped the washer. Hold on one second. Okay, let me put this back in. The washer on the bottom, so it has that, that look to it. It's got these two gray pins here. Okay, this is the bottom section. This is that pressure balance for, uh, section I was telling you about. That's the bottom of that one. It's got this heavy, thick gasket around the base of it, all the way around it, helps seal it. Then this is what you see here, and these mesh, these pins, insert into that, which basically makes it one whole cartridge, okay? Now I'm gonna take a couple different measurements on this one. This is made by Huntington Brass. You see a lot of this on the West Coast, uh, California and areas like that. The top section, 41 millimeters, okay? With an overall length of two and a half inches, okay? The bottom section, 47 millimeters. It's about an inch length. So we're gonna put these together, get an overall length of this thing. Or you can just add up what I just told you. Let's see. Overall, three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half inches overall length. Okay, and that's by Huntington Brass. That's cartridge number 14. Like I said, I'm gonna list all these down below. If you see the cartridge, click on the link below. That'll take you directly to the site for the cartridge you need. If you don't see the one you have, send me an email. Info at plumbingpartspro.com. I usually get back to people between me and uh, another guy, the staff. We, we handle all the emails uh, within 24 hours. Um, and it's not bad to buy a house name faucet. You know, they look nice, and that, that's where they get you. You know, you're paying a little bit less than cost. You know, some of these companies like Wayfair and uh, Amazon and all these companies online that sell these good looking faucets, nice, pretty faucets, um, but you really don't know what's inside of it. Okay, and when you get it in, when you, when you get this faucet over from another country or China, or I've got people bought stuff from Europe and had odd connections to it. You gotta know what's in the faucet. Okay, or you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a headache once it's in, once it starts leaking three to five years down the road. Uh, so I do recommend Delta, Kohler, Moen, American Standard, most of your top major manufacturers that you'll find. Um, however, you know, we do stock all these parts. They are available, well, most of them. Just be careful when, when buying a faucet. Try to figure out what's inside of it before you install it and get to the point where you're stressing yourself out because you can't find the part later on. So, But I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you guys have a great day. Uh, subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Uh, like the, the video and uh, email me if you have any problems or any questions. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a good day.